Hi everyone, I am uh, Avinash and uh, welcome to my channel, US Sports News and Views. Um, and we are, uh, we've been covering the wildcard games for over this weekend, the wildcard weekend. And this is my fourth game. And the most interesting game I feel over the weekend, uh, this is between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, this game is going to be played at uh, on the on the on Sunday, that is on January sixteenth at four thirty p.m. at AT and T Stadium at Fort Worth, Dallas, at Arlington. Actually, it's going to be played in Arlington, and I'm excited because I'll be watching uh, them. I will be watching uh, the game, which is going to be at three p.m. in the morning in India Standard Time. So I'll be getting up all the way, uh, disturbing my wife, but. Uh, uh, Dallas Cowboys are one of my favorite teams, and uh, I I watch their games regularly, and that's the reason, one of the reasons. Though uh, the channel is not solely dedicated on uh, or, uh, this channel is not dedicated for the Dallas Cowboys uh, solely, it is overall for the NFL, NBA, and Major League Baseball. Uh, Dallas Cowboys are my favorite team, along with the New York Yankees and. Uh, also, I like the uh, you know I like Kevin Durant, so I follow the New Jersey wherever he goes uh, because he keeps on changing teams. <laughs> That's another thing to talk about. All right, um, I, I'm here to discuss about this game. Uh, this game, um, most of the I see the most of the, uh, the though Dallas is favored uh, by Las Vegas by three points. Uh, everyone I am following. Uh, is saying that uh, San Francisco has an edge and will beat Dallas. They have picked uh, against Dallas, which is all right. I think so. Uh, that is uh, pure wisdom. Uh, but I'm going to be uh, giving some reasons why I think Dallas can win this game. Uh, overall, um, you know, uh, San, uh, Dallas and San Francisco have never played each other uh this year they didn't play each other this year not never played each other sorry for the wrong use of word uh but have not played uh, each other this year um so i'm just looking at the overall stats for both the teams the leaders uh, for 49ers uh, jimmy garoppolo he uh, completed 301 passes out of 441 attempts uh, that's a completion percentage of 68.3 uh he had 300 uh, 3,810 yards of passing, 220 uh, touchdowns, and 10 interceptions. Uh, Elijah Mitchell was their best runner with 983 yards, uh, averaging 4.7 yards a carry, and had six touchdowns. As far as uh, the best receiver is Debo Samuel, who was also electrifying, and many feel that he's going to be the reason why San Francisco 49ers are going to win, which is possible because Dallas has had a weakness in the run game last year. And this year also they have in games where they've lost, uh, they've given huge amount of yards. Uh, Debo Samuel, however, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, had receiving four, four, 1,405 receiving yards, an average of 18.2 yards and uh, per catch and six TDs, very impressive. Uh, not the TDs, but of course the catch uh, average per catch and uh, the number of yards he went. As far as the Cowboys are concerned, Dak Prescott had one of his best seasons uh, despite heavy criticism. And I have been critical of him also in various channels. Um, but he uh, completed 410 uh, passes out of 596 for uh, 4,449 yards. Uh, and he also had uh, 37 touchdowns. That's the highest by any Cowboy quarterback uh, in its history and 10 interceptions and he completed 68.8% of his passes which is impressive. Uh, Elliot was the best running back for uh, though uh, I think so Tony Pollard is better right now. Uh, Tony Pollard did miss a couple of games with injury and he's the second running back. Uh, Elliot had 4.2 yards per carry for 1,000 uh, and two yards. So he hit the thousand mark and 10 touchdowns. He did score a lot of touchdowns this year. Um, CD Lamb uh, was the best receiver uh, with 1,002 yards, 13.9 uh, yards, an average per carry, and six touchdowns. So that is the overall uh, you know, individual stats of each. Uh, if you look at team stats, we move on. Uh, 
49ers had the seventh best offense compared to the number one offense of the Cowboys. Cowboys had the number one offense throughout the year. Uh, they came second, I think, so in between, but then picked up a kid. And uh, the 49ers have the third best overall defense compared to the 19th best defense by the Cowboys. Uh, as far as points go, 49ers have scored 427 points. That is the 13th and given up 365 points. That's ninth. And Cowboys have scored uh, uh, NFL high 530 points. That is the first and given up 358 points. Uh, which is the seventh. Over uh, the record, uh, about 500 teams, 49ers are four and five, and the Cowboys are five and four. Uh, this is a little catchy because they played the Philadelphia Eagles twice, who have a 500 record, and also the uh, Saints, who did not make it to the playoffs. So it's a little up and down, but uh, overall, I think so. Um, the Cowboys' defense is a takeaway defense. They take away a lot of points, and I don't trust Jimmy Garoppolo in big situations. Uh, uh, Debo Samuel is going to be definitely a factor, but uh, I feel that uh, that the Dallas Cowboys are prepared. Even Jerry Jones said during the uh, during uh, the season that, you know, the, when it comes to playoffs, there's going to be a lot of changes uh, as far as the play, uh, you know, playbook is concerned. Uh, in the offense, so I expect uh, uh, you know the offense is as it is very very electrifying without Michael Gallup too because uh, Cedric Wilson is a wonderful uh, you know third wheel to said uh, C D Lamb and um, uh, Amari Cooper and also I think so Black Blake Jarwin is healthy and so is uh, you know uh, so is most of the team. I think so. the Cowboys team is one of the most healthiest teams and they are very good in takeaways. I feel Jim, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to fumble the ball once and he's going to uh, do, throw two interceptions. One will be a pick six, which will make the score 30 to 26. Uh, it'll be a very close game, I feel. Both teams are evenly matched. Uh, San Francisco is a very good defensive team also. Their uh, front seven is very, very good. And if even... Uh, their, uh, you know, their uh, their uh, offensive line with Trent Williams, which is who's one of the best uh, left tackles. Uh, as far as uh, the Cowboys are concerned, Tyron Smith is back. Uh, he didn't look very good in the last game he played, but I believe he'll pick it up because it's the playoffs. So it's going to be a con. I'm making a controversial call. I'm saying it's the Dallas Cowboys are going to uh, pick Jimmy Garoppolo, and uh, that will be a pick six by. Jerron Curse. I believe Jerron Curse will uh, do a uh, will will pick him while he throws the ball to Debo Samuels, and that will result in a pick six, which will end the game in the favor of Cowboys. And remember, Dallas is playing at home, and their offense is very good at home. Um, so defense is a little suspect, but you know, uh, with um, uh, Tank Lawrence back, Demarcus Lawrence back. He's helping in the run game, and I feel there will be a couple of takeaways by the Cowboys defense. Uh, it's all about which cow, uh, 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 quarterback you, uh, you know, you trust more to keep the ball. It's all about, like Tony Dungy says, if you can keep the ball and you do not give it away, you're going to win games. So I trust uh, Dak a little bit more, though this year has not been very. Sometimes he's made some bonehead plays. Uh, you know, very unlike that. I, I believe the playoffs he is focused and he really told uh, Tom Brady uh, in the first, after the first game that we are going to meet again this uh, season. And I believe that India's uh, uh, Dallas Cowboys are heading towards that, not India, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm excited about India all the time. <laughs> uh, but Dallas Cowboys are heading towards meeting uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the Raymond James Stadium, which will produce also a different results, I, I result, I believe. But let's look at this weekend and I'm going to call it. And if I'm wrong, I'll put my hand up. And uh, so, all, so all the best to both the teams. And I believe go the Cowboys. Bye. See you. Everybody.